Hi everyone. Uh, so I've been seeing some people around the Playdate and Zig communities get interested in making a Playdate game in the Zig programming language. So I thought I'd make a guide about how to get set up on your first Playdate project in Zig and also including getting a debugger working as well. Here I'll be using VS Code and Mac OS, but since VS Code is just a wrapper on top of major debuggers like LLDB, GDB, or the MSVC debugger on Windows, this guide should be also helpful on getting up and running on these platforms as well. For those who don't know, Zig is a newish general purpose programming language that is like C but with some nice modern features. A while ago, with some help, especially from Dave Hayden who works at Panic, I finally got Zig working on the Playdate. And so I put together a GitHub repository you can use as a starting point to make your Playdate game in Zig. But before we get to the repository, uh, you will have to have the latest version of Zig installed. So uh, let's go to ziglang.org. So as of this recording, the latest release is 0.12.0, which works perfectly fine uh, as of today. But I do keep the GitHub repository up to date with the Zig's master branch, not the latest release. So what you'll probably want to do is go to download and then scroll down to the platform that you have. In my case, it would be Mac OS on, on ARCH64. And then download the archive, unzip it, and install it. But I already have mine installed, so I won't be needing to do that. Uh, in addition to having Zig installed, you will also need the Playdate SDK installed. So we can go to Playdate, what is it? Play.date slash dev. Um, and the latest SDK as of this recording is 2.4.2. .2. So um, you'll need to install that as well. Uh, I recommend um, following the instructions. For macOS, I believe you'll have to install Xcode as well, but I could be wrong. Uh, just follow the instructions on the Playdate SDK website. All right, so let's hop in the terminal and verify we have everything that we need. So let's go to the terminal. Uh, first, let's check SIG version. And uh, this is uh, today's build uh, from Master Branch, so that is good. Uh, next, uh, let's verify that uh, the Playdate uh, SDK is uh, environment variable is set. So let's do echo. Um, dollar sign, playdate, uh, SDK path, I think it is. Yep. Um, and that is set correctly. Uh, if we actually, uh, list, uh, uh, the path, we can see that this is, um, the place that the playdate SDK installed. Okay. So now let's go to the Zig playdate template gip github repo I put together. So that is uh, github.com slash dmp91 I think. Zig playdate template. Uh, and this is the uh, repository I put together. This has all you need to get started uh, writing your playdate game in Zig. So let's clone it. Go into here, do a good clone. And now uh, we should uh, have our project in here. So let's CD into the template. Actually, before we go further, we should take a look at the README. Uh, it's a pretty short README. There's not much there to read. Uh, it tells you things to be aware of very, very uh, quick. There's a very small stack uh, here. Uh, you only get 10 kilobytes and that's it. Um, so use Zig uh, STD very sparingly. Uh, I found that uh, buff print Z works. So it's perfect for logging and all that stuff. Uh, but you may want to write your own data structures if uh, you start getting uh, stack overflows. Okay, uh, requirements. Uh, we went over that previously, so no need to go over that again. Uh, contents, okay. So when I put together this repo, I wanted to make it as 
simple and easy to read and as little in direction as possible. So there's not much to this repo. It's just the bare minimum to get you started. So first we have build.zig. Uh, build.zig has all the necessary configuration necessary to generate a PDX file, which will generate an executable that will work both on the Playdate simulator and on hardware. Right now it will only generate for the simulator of the platform that you're working on, but I, I intend to actually fix that uh, in, in a later update. Uh, Playdate definitions.zig, this contains all of the actual API, all the definitions necessary. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Um, I did it. I did do a lot of it by hand, so it's possible I made some mistakes, but um, in theory, everything should be there. Um, Main.zig, this is your where you write your game. This is your entry point, and uh, this is where you start. Uh, and then the assets folder, this is uh, intended to hold all of your assets, your, uh, your images, your sounds, etc. Uh, I do use it in the example code, so it should be easy to just slip in your assets in there and start using them. And then uh, running the example code. So I'll show you this in a second, uh, but it's, it's very straightforward. And then this is what it should look like uh, when you run the example. And then this is what the home screen uh, list view should look like. Okay, so now let's uh, go back to the terminal and let's run the example. So um, all we have to do is do zig build run. And then this should build and launch the Playdate simulator. And there we go. Perfect. And we can even connect a Playdate to the computer, which I already have connected. Uh, and if we double tap the lock button, we'll see a small little button that pops up over here uh, and we can click and hit upload game to device or hit command U on Mac. And this will take a little bit. I may uh, skip ahead. And there, there we go. Our example code running on the play date, written in Zig. It's really cool. So this is actually all you need to do to get started. But if you actually want to debug your code, you'll need a, a debugger like GDB or LLDB or an IDE like VS Code, uh, which gives a nice visual interface for debugging, even though it is just a wrapper on GDB or LLDB. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, let's open up our project in VS Code. And here on the side are all our files. Uh, the file that we should go to is main.zig, which again is your entry point. And at the top here uh, is the event handler, which is your actual entry point. And a quick note I forgot to mention is that the zig API is one for one with the C API. So you would probably want to refer to the C SDK uh, help guide for any questions about the API. And down here is the event init code, which is the very first code that is called when your Playdate game boots up. And so uh, we do things like load the image in, we load the font in, etc., etc. Uh, down here, we set the update callback, which sets the update loop or the game loop function to this function right here, update and render, which is down here. So this is where a lot of your game code will be called from. So let's say we wanted to make sure that update and render was being called. What we want to do is place a breakpoint at the first line of the function, like so. Um, and we'll go into run and debug over here. And you, But you can see that uh, it says to customize run and debug, create launch.json file. And that's what we want to do. So uh, since I'm Mac, I will select LLDB. Not that it will really matter because uh, we're going to be replacing everything here anyway. So I actually have uh, some configuration I wrote off screen. Uh, I plan to actually include that in the repository um, soon, maybe before or after I upload this video. So 
So I copied it and just paste it over here. Uh, so I'll, I'll briefly go through this. I'm not, I'm not gonna go through it uh, too crazily, but here you specify the, where the simulator is. And then here is your .pdx. So what's essentially doing is calling LLDB on the actual Playdate simulator. Um, and then this is just an argument. And so it actually will debug the simulator, which works totally fine. So let's save that. So right here, I have this uh, pre-launch task, um, which I intend to use to build the game before I actually launch it. Uh, I don't have that set up yet, but let's try and launch it actually. So could not find the task build and then hit uh, configure task. Uh, we'll just create task.json file from template. Uh, others, it doesn't matter. You'll need to use the uh, configuration that I paste here. So what this does is it literally just calls zig build. That's all it is. And it labels it build, which matches the pre-launch task over here. So let's go and launch over here. And what will happen is you'll see some assembly here uh, and it says CXA throw. So it looks like a C++ exception is being thrown. This happens in the simulator on startup. I think, I don't know why there, there must be like some handled exception. Um, but what we're going to want to do is actually disable C++ exceptions or break on exception. So we want to uncheck this little checkbox here and then hit continue. And now we are in our code. So um, we can see that it hit update and render. Uh, we can inspect the variables. So let's say global state, we can put that in the watch window. just the uh, example global state struct I defined up here. And we can inspect the, the fields and everything. This is the Playdate API, and then these are all the addresses. Apologies for the jump cut, but I just quickly wanted to show you how to debug in Windows since it's very slightly different uh, here than it is on Mac and Linux. Uh, here is the launch.json for Windows. Uh, you can see it's slightly different. Here is uh, type is a CPP VS debug, which uses the Visual Studio debugger. Uh, name doesn't really matter. You can name it whatever you want. Um, and then there's this extra field here. Since Windows outputs its debug symbols in a separate file, separate file called a PDB, which you can uh, see here. Uh, you can't actually view it in VS Code. Oh yeah, Windows outputs a separate debug file unlike Mac and Linux, which interleave their debug symbols in the actual executable. I'm gonna head over to test.json, but uh, there is no difference here. Again, I will be uploading these configuration files, so you should be able to copy and paste them into your project. Debugging is a little bit more annoying, unfortunately, on Windows, unless somebody in the comments thinks I'm doing something wrong here. But uh, let me show you. So I'm going to set a breakpoint over here, and then let's, uh, de uh, let's launch it. And this works totally fine. Uh, it, it breaks on this line. However, when you do step over, instead of stepping over the entire line, it looks like it steps through the line a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if Zig is outputting uh, more granular symbols for Windows than it is for Mac OS, but it does work. You can still use the watch window view all of a struct's fields, etc. But the annoying thing is that you do have to tap step over multiple times per line, unfortunately. But if somebody ran into this and knows how to fix it, please let me know in the comments. One thing that works better on Windows that doesn't work as good on Mac OS at least, is you can actually open a disassembly view and it interleaves the symbols with the assembly. Uh, you can open up the disassembly view in, in Mac OS, 
but uh, it just shows the disassembly. There's no symbols. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you on Windows. Back to the video. And that's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully this is enough to get you started on your very first Zig game for the Playdate. Uh, I can't wait to see what you guys make. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. My Twitter or X handle is dboxer91. I'm on Discord in the Playdate Squad server as danb91 and the same thing in the Zig language server. Feel free to reach out. Can't wait to see what you guys make.